This one's made by David Robert Mitchell, who made It Follows a few years back. Which I still haven't seen, something that needs to change after seeing this. Because this is one of those rare movies that I just liked from the get-go. I pressed play and within like 30 seconds I already knew it was gonna be good. And it wasn't anything in specific, it's just the vibe of the thing. The way that first scene is shot, and the music, and yeah, just the feel of it. I just liked it, a lot, and well, this thing delivers too. It's just really good. And I gotta give props to the technical team, because this thing looks really nice. And the sound design is fantastic. I mean the score, the soundtrack, just the little details, I loved it. There are a few nice animated sequences in there too that I liked. And the overall tone of this movie is just really unique. I don't even know how to describe this, but it's some sort of darkly comedic mystery thing. And Andrew Garfield is excellent too, I mean maybe my favorite performance of his I've seen. Not that I feel like this one really pushes his acting chops or anything. But he's still really good in this, and the perfect guy for the role. There's a lot of cool cameos too, and I have a feeling they probably recruited a lot of friends for this. So all of that is just really good, but what about the story? Well, it's sort of strange, and the further along the movie gets, the weirder the story gets. It's about this guy living in Silver Lake and things aren't going all that great for him. But then something happens and he gets a tiny bit obsessed with figuring out what exactly happened. So he goes down this really strange rabbit hole that just keeps getting weirder and weirder. He follows this trail of clues and you're never really sure if the clues are even real or if he's just losing his marbles. And along the way he meets all these odd characters that somehow all seem to be connected. And this thing just consumes him and he goes off the deep end. So it's weird and quirky and dark, but also really funny. Not in a jokey joke way, but as I said, in a darkly comedic way. Where absurd things just kinda keep happening, but it's all played straight. And if you know me, you know that's sorta of my favorite thing ever. So I liked almost everything about it, the visuals, the sound, the acting, the writing. Now the only real issue I had with it was the pacing, it's a pretty slow movie. But for most of it that wasn't even an issue either. But every now and again it felt like it could have been tighter. And I don't know, I think you could have probably cleaned up the story a tiny bit. It gets pretty convoluted by the end and not every loose end gets tied up. But I also liked that it kept throwing new curveballs and adding new details all the time. And to its credit a lot of it did come into play later, in some way or another. Just not everything, and a lot of it didn't really matter that much either. So there's room for improvement, but overall I have very few complaints about this one. I just enjoyed it a lot, and was actually surprised by the kind of movie it turned out to be. I expected something a little bit more serious and less lighthearted. But I'm glad I was wrong, and I gotta keep an eye on this guy going forward. David Robert Mitchell I mean, because he also wrote this. And apparently he's a really talented guy. Oh and one more thing I noticed, there's a pretty strong emphasis on sex in this thing. And I'm not sure why, but it's pretty prevalent, it's everywhere. A lot of nudity, scantily clad women, actual sex, and just a lot of talk about sex in general. And I mean I'm not complaining, I'm just not sure how it relates to the story. Maybe I'm dumb and it's really obvious, but I didn't connect the dots. So sort of a nitpick there, but yeah, would I recommend this thing? Sure, it's a pretty good movie. Go watch it. Or don't. I'm not your dad.